Our skin is the largest human organ. It's something we're super familiar with, yet we're still learning a lot about. So what better way to learn about skincare than to consult skin experts? So I've invited some of my coworkers to try out the Vizia skin test. My skin was always pretty, like it behaved well. I was always into skincare because my mom worked for a beauty company when I started, when I was like four years old. I never really had a problem with acne, but I did struggle a little bit in my 20s with hyperpigmentation. I grew up by the beach, so I had a lot of sun exposure. Getting older, my skin, you know, it breaks out easily or more easily than it did before. I actually developed acne as an adult, which is really strange. Like once I hit like my 30s, I started developing uh, acne and just pimples in weird places. Right now I'm 22. I hope my skin is like 16, but I doubt it. <laughs> I am 36. I would say my skin is like 16, because like I said, I started getting acne when I was an adult. So I think it kind of went backwards. I am 33. I would like to say my skin is 25, but I don't know. I honestly don't. It would be very interesting to find out. All right, guys, we're going. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So today, I'm going to tell you a little about our Vizia. But before we do, I'm going to introduce you to your best friend, OK? Milu, our esthetician. Hi. We're going to make sure you guys have clean skin so we have no makeup. And we're going to take a photo. And it's a UV filter. So when we're going to go ahead and place you, you're going to take three photos, the right side of your face, the front, and the left side. And then once it's done, it's going to give us um, an actual zone where it has um, the green and the red. And it'll give you a percentage of where you stand. But you'll be surprised at what you see. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm so, gonna see like little like microscopic critters. Oh, oh no! Don't scare me. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Perfect. The Vizia test for me was kind of intimidating. Like you walk in, like there's this big machine. You got to sit your face there. The anticipation buildup was definitely uh -huh. there. And you're literally staring into a camera. Almost like Terminator ish because it's like you see the picture and it's like <laughs> a scan exactly of your face yeah, and it yeah, just yeah. goes and goes and goes. You always want to be in the level of the green. So anything that's above to 70 to the 90, you're in a great place. Look at that. You're in the 80 to the 90, which is excellent. That means the texture and the pores kind of like go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, that means you have really good skin. So after the Vizia test, we came to the dermatologist. Hi, I'm Dr. Shanti Palasso, and welcome to Skin Style Dermatology. We are thrilled to welcome the Ipsy ladies over to the office today. We're going to look at their Vizia results, and we're going to talk about how best to take care of their skin type. Hi! Hi welcome! Thank you. I'm Dr. Colasso. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. You must be Sophia. Yes. Let's take a look at your Vizio report. Some good news for you. Oh. Can you remind me how old you are? 33. 33. So your Vizio report actually said of someone in their late 20s, which is fantastic. Yes. So you can give yourself a pat on the back for that. You must be doing something right. <laughs> so your actual age, do you mind if I tell everybody? Go ahead. Is 36 analysis report gave you an, an actual age, skin age of 21. Nice, so that's what I, I think guess. I should be asking you for your skincare tips today. Katie is 22 and her Vizia skin age is 18, which is fantastic. I really liked meeting with the skin expert and doctor that explained in more detail and further about what my test results were and what I can do to reverse the effects. Well, she definitely like put me at ease and like some of like my UV results were genetic. I think you're being really hard on yourself. Okay. I actually think <laughs> you have a fantastic result. At the esthetician, I learned a little bit about you know, I have to protect my skin with sunscreen. When I came here to the dermatologist, I got to learn more, you know, in depth about what kind of protection I should be using and then what kind of exfoliators there are. And First did this, I said I wanted my skin to be like a young and vibrant 21 year old. And she said my skin had the skin of a 21 year old. It was before I, I even told her the age, so <laughs> yay. I'm really happy because my skin age is younger than I am. I got so nervous watching mm -hmm. your skin test being done mm -hmm. because I was like, no, I'm definitely gonna have 
lots of bacteria and lots of UV oh, damage. Baby. You had the perfect that. skin. It was like 96, <laughs> 90. Exactly. I was pretty happy with yeah. my results. Um, honestly, a little bit shocked too because I thought I would have more UV damage. The tests were good because like I think people like automatically assume like I have perfect skin so it really like showed the impurities. And that just goes to show that everybody has their insecurities. I can't see yours, whatever you're self-conscious mm -hmm. about. I can't see it. I think you guys are beautiful. It's just important to take care of yourself and you know be be and feel beautiful in the skin you're in. Yeah.